I spend so much time over in the monologue over there, carving up all the choicest cuts and news beef. Sometimes I like to collect all the uh, cattle sinews, dry them out in the sun, use it to string the tennis racket of news that is my segment. Never fails. Everyone loves Meanwhile. <laughs> meanwhile, <laughs> Uber drivers across the country went on strike this morning. They're demanding better pay, better working conditions, and passengers who are willing to say, Oh, you play bass in a band? Tell me more. <laughs> meanwhile, this week in Norway, a whale watcher dropped their cell phone into the ocean, then a beluga whale retrieved the cell phone for them. That's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah. Now all we amazing. need to keep our cell phone safe is a beluga whale in every toilet. <laughs> no. Some believe, some believe that this, this beluga whale right here, Some believe this whale is the same beluga found in Norway last week with camera straps on it, which identified the whale as being trained by the Russian government as a Russian spy whale, <laughs> which I reported on in my meanwhile subsegment, Mean Whale. <laughs> but clearly, it's defected to our side now, which brings me to my updated meanwhile subsegment, Meanwhile, Mean Whale, Well Meaning Whale. <laughs> And it was not easy. It was not easy to say. I really didn't think I'd get through that. This isn't the only one. We also have this actual footage of a dolphin returning a woman's iPhone. So either these were both beautiful moments of interspecies cooperation, or they're just trying to tell us, please stop throwing your crap into our home. <laughs> Meanwhile, beautiful. Meanwhile, in anticipation of overpopulation and food shortages, a scientist is suggesting maggot sausage as a meat alternative because he says the biggest potential for sustainable protein production lies with insects and new plant sources. Way to breeze over the plant sources and go straight to the maggot sausage. Uh, here's your dinner. It's a blowfly larva paste pushed into a tube. What's that? I suppose you could have a salad, yes. <laughs> What dressing would you like? We have a balsamic vinaigrette or maggot. <laughs> Meanwhile, a wild raccoon has moved into a German zoo and the zookeepers can't expel it. Oh, we've all been there. First, your raccoon roommate asks if her boyfriend can stay for the weekend. Then it's a week, then suddenly he's shirtless in the kitchen eating your garbage. <laughs> My name was right on it, Scratchers. Zookeepers say the raccoon can expect free board and lodgings for life because European Union rules forbid him from being released back into the wild, but he'll have to be castrated. <laughs> and I have a feeling that they're going to leave that part out of the Disney movie. <laughs> Meanwhile, this stray cat just went viral for crashing a Christian Dior fashion show in Marrakesh. Once again, setting an unrealistic body standard for the models. <laughs> now they have to be twice as leggy and weigh 8 to 10 pounds. But the highlight was when the cat walked over to a spectator and marked them. <laughs> Anna says expressing your anal glands is the look for spring. <laughs> we'll be right back. 